Hello, it's Friday the 6th of March, so it's about 12 midday and I've been trying to stay awake all morning so that I wouldn't miss a delivery I've been waiting for, which is something quite exciting. It's some fish and some fish tank equipment, but the live fish are in there and it was just delivered five minutes ago, so when I got the box in I saw that there was a label on it which listed like a bunch of fish but none of them were the ones that I ordered but now I'm thinking maybe that was a reused box and it was just an old label because the value of the stuff that was listed is like three times the value of the stuff I actually ordered but I'm a bit nervous to open the box now and I was a bit worried about ordering live fish at all um, so hopefully this is going to work out well they did have good reviews so I'm just going to open it up and have a quick look the delivery guy was very gentle with the box which I appreciated It's okay, the order sheet is in there and um, listed on here is just all the things I ordered, um, so it's fine, that must be an old list on the box, maybe there's some supplies that they got. Uh, the only thing is, I ordered some sort of fake floating lilies to go on the top of the water and I think they were out of stock because they've been refunded, so um, I might just need to look for those elsewhere. So, I'd better get those fish out of there and into somewhere safe then. Wow, these are beautiful. These are a kind of dwarf cichlid called Agazizi or something, but I've got a pair here, a male and a female, and these are sort of adult sized, so these are going to go in with my angelfish in the new tank. I'm just going to put them back for a sec and see who else is in here. These are the um, Corydorus catfish, they're kind of hard to see um, at the minute, but they all look okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, I've got the right amount. And then in this bag, I've got my ooh, white cloud mountain minnows, which I got to sort of keep the one white cloud in my other tank company. So that's it for fish. And then I've also got some other things in here. I've got um, a magnetic glass cleaner and some algae wafers which are for the catfish. So I'm just going to get those fish settled in and I'll show you some close-ups as well.
it's best to let the fish settle in as sort of gently as possible because they've already been stressed by the journey so I'm floating the bags for a while so that they come up to the same temperature as the rest of the tank and then I'll start putting in a little bit of tank water um, until they get used to the new water but with the one with the new tank I'm just going to actually um, cover it with a black towel so that it's dark because it makes the fish less stressed. Don't even want to know what I knocked over there. I was looking at this bag thinking, why are two of them blue? Because white cloud mountain minnows aren't blue and those ones don't have red fins either. And then I remembered I ordered two um, pearl coloured, it's called, two pearl danios. So these are actually the same as the bigger fish in the other tank that zip around really quick. So I'm going to have to fish those out because they belong in the new tank. Can you see those, the two blue ones? They're a lot smaller than the Danios I have already as well, so hopefully they'll grow. Hello again. So I'm just still letting the fish settle in, but um, I heard a noise and I honestly thought someone had broken into the house and I was like walking around shouting hello, looking for a weapon, couldn't find anything and then I found the noise was sort of coming from the front door so I opened it and it was just the postman standing in the porch but he'd been there ages and he really scared me. Anyway, um, if the fish wasn't exciting enough, I've got three parcels here and a letter so I'm just going to open some stuff up and see what it is cause... this is okay so this is a letter in relation to that voicemail I had the other day when I was asleep all day basically the disability shop that I bought this wheelchair from that's faulty that I've sort of explained in previous videos um, they've just been completely unhelpful and then we complained to them that they never sent the policy documents and they decided to pass it on to the insurer and make out like the insurer had like not sent the policy documents but actually they have just sent them to the wrong address so it was the shop's fault so I've told the insurance company that and that was just a little thing to acknowledge that so good that's resolved I think this is a gift for me. Oh, this is really cute. It's one of those emoji faces, the kissy face. I have to find somewhere nice to put that. Okay. Open up the next one. Now, I think this is shoes, but I think this may also be a gift because I don't remember. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a gift. Oh my god, these are amazing. Hold on a sec. It's a pair of zebra printed Doc Martens. They are absolutely gorgeous. I really love them. They're perfect for me. And I know it was you, Foz. Thank you. This means a lot to me. They're really nice and I love them. I'll wear them a lot when I've had my hip surgery and I can go stomping around again. And then there's one more thing here to open. Uh, I ordered these. It's some more moss balls for the aquariums because you can never have too much moss. Hello, 
So I'm having a bit of an issue with my fish at the minute. One of the angelfish just went a bit berserk and started biting the other one, bits and little bits of its fins, and then it um, tried to bite the, all the other fish and it was just sort of going up to them really aggressively and chasing them all away and it started to get really stressful. I was worried some of the fish were going to die so I pulled him out, put him in a bucket and then contacted the uh, fish shop where I bought him for advice and they said I should just take him back in and they can rehome him with some other angel fish. So I'm keeping the other smaller one and I'm not sure if I'll get another angel fish or something else because I'm a bit worried about it happening again and they said they'll give me credit for the money of the angel fish not that I was bothered I just uh, wanted to find it a new home so here he is all bagged up and ready to go I'm so sorry little angel fish I really wanted to keep you but you were just too aggressive to the other fish That's the male there, and the female has a more silver and yellow sort of colour to her. That's her there. But they're only just colouring up, so they will get much, much brighter than this. So the guy at the local fish shop also gave me a good tip. Basically, I wanted to get some floating plants for the new fish tank, because a lot of those fish prefer um, sort of lower light or like have to have darker places and shadows and the light is quite bright so I asked if they had anything like that and they said what they've done in the past for fish that like it darker is um, bought one of these fake plants on a stand and just pulled the plants out of the stand and then just put them on top of the water and if you get the right sort of plant it kind of looks like a little bit of pondweed growing there or something. So I've done that and I'll show you how it looks. <laughs> 